All right, hit F10. And we do, we have a little bit of gain at weight 213, 213.5. So it actually liked a little bit richer air fuel. And it looks like the torque picked up just a touch. So I am going to call this tuned at this point. Um, I'm not gonna make any more changes. This is going to be about as optimized as we can get for the parts that has on. So if I wanna make more power, I have to go in and start changing some parts, changing the airflow in and out of the engine and increasing the volumetric efficiency and the exhaust scavenging effect to take advantage of the uh, increased airflow and to, to make more power. So let's look at one last detail that we haven't talked about. Now, high cam part throttle. So if we get into the situation where we switch over to the high cam and we're gonna be operating um, our engine in the normal vacuum portion. We haven't mapped that out. I'm gonna go and do that real quick. That is often a point where it's overlooked. Um, a lot of people don't even bother doing that, but what we're gonna be finding is if you transition into VTEC and you start to back out, you start to back your foot out, you're still on the high cam of operation. If your fuel or your ignition timing aren't optimized or aren't quite right, especially your fuel, you're gonna be finding you can run really rich or really lean. Now we are in closed loop, so it will make some adjustments, but we don't want the closed loop short-term trim going crazy here, adding or subtracting 20% fuel. We wanna fix that. So let's just take a look at that. I'm gonna put my dyno here into its normal mode, or I'm sorry, to my part throttle mode, not my, my, pull, my uh, full throttle pull mode. I'm gonna go in here, I'm bringing my engine up to about 4,500 where it's definitely gonna be in VTEC. Get into my part throttle operation, and then just do a little bit of lambda overlay. And I'm not gonna be using lambda overlay uh, I'm going to be looking at my short-term trim, but using this lambda overlay look in the table to kind of pinpoint where I'm at and see if I need to deal with the fuel delivery on the high cam part throttle, which is going to be increasing the drivability of the car greatly, especially on autocross or road racing. And again, this is a, what a lot of people leave out, and uh, this is what I have found makes a, a pretty large difference in drivability. So let's go in here and give this a shot. So we can see right here, as we transition, it's extremely rich in that same region. We need to take out some fuel. Now our short term, let's kind of look back in here. Our short term trim was absorbing that. It was correcting it, but we don't want it to correct it. We want to actually take care of the problem. So jumping in here, I'm going to take out, let's just say 17% to kind of be conservative here. 